Before you begin building any schedules for your jobs or adding tasks to JobTread, it's important that you set up your schedule settings first. So when you're in JobTread, if you're an administrator, you have access to your settings tool on the main navigation. Then you'll notice a scheduling section. Here you'll define what your working days are. So your working days are highlighted in blue, your non-working days are white. And so for many of you, you may just have Monday through Friday as your working days, and then you'll want to turn off your non-working days, which could be Saturday, Sunday, but many of you may have other days of the week that you work as well. Don't worry, you can always override these when you're building a job schedule if you do need to work on the weekends or on your non-working day periodically. Additionally, make sure that you include your excluded working days here on this list. So this is a great place for you to put any of your holidays or uh, maybe your team days where you're not going to be working. Um, so adding them to this list will help make sure that you don't accidentally schedule over one of those dates, especially when you're importing templates from your catalog over into your job schedule. This way it will skip your non-working days when you're scheduling out those tasks. Now, when you navigate to one of your jobs, you'll notice that in the schedule tab, your non-working days are hidden from the days of the week here. And so in this case, you can see Monday through Friday, and then the non-working days of Saturday and Sunday are not showing. It will also be skipping any of your excluded working days or your holidays as well. If you wanted to display your non-working days in this view, you can always click on show all days and here you'll also see your Saturday and Sunday displaying as well. So when you're scheduling a new task, you can still schedule on your non-working days if you'd like to. In this case, let's turn off those non-working days. I'm just going to schedule a task from Friday up until Tuesday. It's a three day duration here for that task. Now, if I show all working days, that, that three, days, three days turns into five days because it's taking into account those weekend or non-working days. If that task happens to land uh, or start or end on a non-working day, then when you collapse your non-working days, it will still show the non-working day where a task is starting or ending just to make sure that you're not going to miss something that you are planning to do.